Good morning, paint fans. It's now the third day of the conference, Sunday. Happy September 1st. We're going to go take a look real quick. I'm going to try not to interrupt three classes that are going on right now. So let's go take a look. We're going to go into Stephanie Brown's class first. And I think she's doing an acrylic core basics. Slow, slow, slow. Okay. That ready. The color comes out from underneath the edge of your cup and it's on the canvas. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> this is Stephanie Brown, everyone. And what class are we in, Stephanie? We are setting your pour free. Oh, setting your pour free. Awesome. Everybody's anticipating. Some Wonderful. of my people didn't show because they went home. For the storm. Yeah. I know. Understood. Understood. All right. So we're small. We're going to check back in with you all later and see what kind of color you put on those canvases. I'm local, so I'm good. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> do you want the door closed? Stephanie, do you want the door closed? Yes, please. Sorry for the jumping around. Okay, we're going into Caroline Keefe's classroom. Sorry about that. That was a mess. Sorry, I dropped a credit card. Okay, she's teaching an alcohol inks class using masking. Oh yeah, masking and objects. First issue is it wants to blow around the cup, but the air is pushing around the cup as well. So you just have to keep in mind it's going to change the direction the liquid is blowing as it grabs onto the cup. Keep in mind also you're adding liquid to something that has an object. So if it catches that object underneath. It might want to just try to float away. So you might have to be like, ooh, stay there, and then blow it dry. Good morning, Caroline. Hi, good morning, Caroline. <laughs> we are teaching what today? We are doing masking with um, alcohol inks with masking and objects. Wonderful. So there's tons of examples over there, but I'm, I'm revealing lots of little secrets. Oh, boy. <laughs> lots of secrets that I don't even know yet. Mm -hmm. And what is your site? One, two, three. I'm one, two, three art designs. Check me out on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Absolutely. I'll see you guys. And I also teach. So come on over and pick one. We know you're teaching. Awesome. Didn't mean to interrupt. Keep going. So it's not going to keep the masking isn't going to keep the alcohol ink from going over it. So that's just up to you to maintain. If it goes in and you don't like it, you can go back in with your brush and remove it. I don't mind that it's there right now. Do you have issues with that Yupo paper warping when um, you're blow drying it? If it gets really hot, it will warp. So, so blow on a cool. On this. So blow a cool setting. Uh, yeah, nice cool setting. All the hair dryers I bought are like the lowest wattage I could find. So they're just like little mini travel mm -hmm. ones. So so I'm gonna let you guys go. Okay. Be we will visit you all later. Hey Marla, wish you were here. All right, one more trip we're going to take with me. Sorry if it's a little bumpy. We're going to head down to another room where Kim McIntosh is teaching. She's teaching the Dutch pour technique. I got to tell you, we're sorry for those that had to cancel due to the storm, which has been beautiful weather here. So we're sorry for that. But... Um, Everyone has had an amazing time. They're just loving it. And so many people now are going to head to Seattle. So let's go take a peek. Well, 
instead of doing, you want to do more of a flower shape. Move your straw in that shape. And you're going to create, start creating those illusions of having yeah. the different shapes. So you've got the makeup, you've got the blow dryer, and you've got the straw. And all your little cells are starting to come together. So we did three different techniques with, what, four or five layers of paint, different paint mm -hmm. here? Yeah, we're just, we're keeping, we're just going. We're just going. <laughs> You're just going to go. We're just going to go. Score, so, bonus. This is, this is what you get if you just take your time. Now look what's happening. It still hasn't torched anything. Look what's starting to happen. The webbing is starting oh, to really pop up. And we haven't touched that yet. So that is this really is, kind of just spreading. It's okay? spreading. Yes. That causes the webbing, the spreading. Yeah, see okay. the rolling the one rolling. color over another. Okay, the rolling. And this is just oh, I've that. This yeah. is just yeah. flow yeah. troll and paint. Flow troll and paint. Look That's at that. That's it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else in here. So lacy. Nothing yeah. else in here. And it has not been torched. There's no silicone, nothing else in it. Yeah. Just I always wondered how I did it. And this is Kim McIntosh, and she's teaching the Dutch Poor. And in Seattle as well. The That's Dutch right. Poor. Oh, yes. Yeah. Just wait till you see the classes in Seattle. All right. All right, look at it. Oh, wow. Wow. So this is just our practice. So this is what you all are going to create. So that's where we put that extra drop of white in the middle. I was ever really nervous. And we can blow, we can blow that white out or we can leave that white in there. It's all the effect that you're going for. So that extra one drop of white in the middle of your color. Okay, we will check on them a little bit later. That's it for, the, for this morning, y'all. We'll see you soon.